So even um, even say when you talk about uh, so there's a lot of cultural un- or, or, or diversity and cultural unrest nowadays, right? So people are seeing a lot about um, and and then when you realize that say if you are a diverse group, right? So your perception of self worth is different from from like some other group or like so every 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 sort of uh, sect group has a different perspective on the self worth. So when sure. you so when you when you look at when you look at self worth from from your vantage point, um, how do you measure it? Like so, is there any is there any such measure of is it like what's your what's your take on that? Yeah, it's a good question. I didn't try to specifically measure worth in terms other than self-reported, right? right? right so, right, right. Um, so I didn't. I, I don't. I haven't sort of come up with an indicator that says, you know, here's the scale of, of kind of worthiness. But what I, but in your question, you were definitely onto something with the way in which different communities, uh, some more historically marginalized than others, characteristically uh, feel worthy or not, right? So. Uh, one that we talked about is women and men, and that you know women in the workplace uh, feeling like they don't measure up to um, to the men uh, for whom it's you know we we will never have the kind of the Y chromosome, um, and so there's there is that gap that I explore in the book. There's also um, I did a lot of um, interviews uh, with colleagues who are not white um, or not not uh, non hetero, and. They, you know, they talk a lot about what does it mean to to struggle um, when who you are uh, is not necessarily recognized as worthy. Um, and so, a, a, a particular colleague of mine, who's a, a gay black man, talked about, you know, you obviously you're working twice as hard for um, you know, for as much kind of um, sort of recognition. And so, I think you're absolutely right that there's that one of the reasons that we see. Um, this kind of worthiness gap is we don't all start off at, at, at the kind of level playing field, mm. um, and that gets to that third part path where um, often uh, we are invited to kind of lean into the system, right? Just you know show up and kind of play the game as as others have kind of played it before us. But as I talk about, I don't believe it's our responsibility to lean into a system that's broken. I believe it's our responsibility to deconstruct it and then redesign it, you know, in a way that elevates the human experience. No, I think I think you're spot on. So um, one so um, one thing that I that I like about at least the title of the book, right? So even the title was pretty exciting. So I think uh, whenever you talk about um, say uh, uh, basically um, worth and uh, experience, I think that itself. So so many time. Um, uh, if you are from a minority group, or if you are from a from a at least a diverse group, right? So you understand that you have a cultural uh, significance on worth. So many many culture promote self worth. Many many sort of uh, culture suggest there is a hierarchy that uh, the worth there is a hierarchy that stands before the worth, and then obviously you you have to understand that. So when you realize that um, as a leader, when you read this, when I was reading this book, right? So I'm I'm I, all I'm thinking about my workers. All I'm thinking right. about is how they how they feel, how I'm making them feel. How I can help them so they can feel better, right? So, at least from 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 the aspect of, um, so th- that is where the experience was pretty handy, right? That tool was uh, pretty handy. That okay, as an organization, you can implement uh, this idea of creating an, creating a conducive in, in environment, uh, so that everyone feels welcome and and sort of you can give them enough tools and ecosystem. Um, I'm I'm curious, like from from, from when you were writing this book, um. If if you are looking at a at an organization, and and how do you in how do you how do you envision an organization implementing a, a well rounded strategy when it comes to uh, creating a good self worth creating organization? I love the I love your questions. They are never easy. <laughs> it's like <laughs> as though we would solve all of the problems uh, with you know in this conversation. Um, I think there's a few things I think about. Um, I think the place I would start is with that sort of honest reckoning of the of what the human struggle is. Um, and I think part of it is I explore the, these topic, the topics of diversity, equity, inclusion, which as you talked about, um, topic of burnout, which is 
uh, huge right now. Uh, the search for meaning and kind of purpose in our work. And my perspective is they're all related, right? Mm -hmm. They're all related to that fundamental human need to feel like we are worthy and that our experience matters. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just about every organization um, will have efforts underway across those three topics, right? They're going to have, you know, the team focused on the e &I, they've got the team focused on purpose, and many will have teams kind of focused on the topic of burnout. And I think that's great. Right. And I think we absolutely need that. But in terms of what I think um, I'd like this, the future that we're kind of making together to look like, I do think we need to start having the conversation about you know, this, this fundamental human experience. Um, and what does it mean to see people as worthy? Um, and how can we kind of create those environments where people can feel like they can show up with, with their authentic selves um, and acknowledging that there are people for whom they're going to expend a lot of energy mm. just asking themselves, should I, should I say anything in this meeting? Like, does my opinion matter? Am I going to get talked over? What is the other people? What do the other people think? Are they all thinking about me? Like mm. there's a lot of wasted potential that I think as leaders, we can kind of harness in our organizations. Mm.